Wadden FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Weymouth away in the National League South. Adam, we're off the back of a well, a crazy game last Saturday, the 6 4 win against Dover. Off the back of that, how are you feeling going into this Saturday? Um, yeah, obviously, uh, it's, it's another three points. Uh, I've got to say the positives. Um, another three points is, is six, six more goals to our tally. I believe it's only uh, Chesterfield that scored more goals than us now in all of the top divisions. Um, so, you yeah, know, there's lots of positive stuff going on. Um, but yeah, disappointed that we've considered four at home again. Um, and I don't think they've had to do too much to to get four four goals. Um, so yeah, it's um, not the finished article. We still want to progress, work hard and improve. And um, that's what we're looking to do. Absolutely. Uh, Weymouth is our opposition this Saturday, as mentioned. Last played them back in August, 2-0 win here at Woodside. I think they were pretty good opposition in the end. I think uh, probably tougher than they were previous season. What are you expecting from them going into this time? No, yeah, um, like I say, not... Um, Tough, tough game they all are, you know, anything can sort of happen really. Um, we've been on the end of some hiders away from home this season. So, yeah, just from our point of view, just want to guard against, um, you know, any sort of complacency slipping in and thinking we've cracked it because we've won a few games lately. Um, you know, that's going to be the, the key message and, and focus on ourselves really and then looking too much at, at the opposition. Obviously, um, I think you know that any team at this level if you if you're not quite at it if you do think you you're better than what you are and you you're going to come unstuck um so you know if the real focus on ourselves um lots of good stuff like I say we're playing some good stuff performances have been good um now it's just a, a as a team can we really um work on being um, a tougher team to play against and, and break down and you know I think we have done that in recent weeks and we want to get back to that yeah, uh, what do you think changed on Saturday? Do you think obviously it was an awful situation with Josh's injury? Do you think that played into it? Yeah, I think so. Um, sorry, I keep banging this all <laughs> there. Uh, yeah, obviously it's going to have a bit of a um, an impact, um, something as, as severe as that, um, with the players' minds, and and then we conceded from um, a bad a bad free kick at White which should never go in and we conceded from it and then it maybe puts everyone on edge a little bit and then give away a penalty and before you know it, you know, it's a, a bad free kick and a, and a penalty and, you know, then it's game on again. 3-2, um, we come out the blocks, blow them away pretty much, um, score, you know, a lot of goals and have that real comfortable margin and then I think it's again just lapsing of, uh, you know, that real focused mindset. And, and state of mind and you know look at the goals back we're, we're not dropped off when there's no pressure on the ball we're we're in positions we shouldn't be in and it's a case of too many players going into like self mode they want to get on the ball and, and be the hero and, and stuff like that rather than sticking to, to what we do um, so there's going to be some key uh, messages shown and on that uh, and we we try and put that right going into Saturday um, but you know we, we, we kept a clean sheet week before and we want to pride ourselves on that between now and in the season 14 games to go um, you know that'll be the, the key thing we know we, we create a lot we know we score a lot um, now can we mix it up with being a, a tough team to play against as well it felt like we were getting there at the start of the year so it's definitely promising uh, looking at the injury list obviously Josh with his situation that's probably him for the season uh, but looking elsewhere Joe Rye Greg Lewin and Nicky Wheeler were all players in the injury list. Whereabouts are they at the moment? Yeah, so Greg and um, I think Joe's had probably four or five good sessions now, so he'll be available for Saturday. Um, Greg's, this is his first week training, but he really ramped up his um, the intensity to his his sessions um, with the medical guys last week, so he's a lot closer. Um, whether he's quite ready for Saturday, potentially, um, but definitely Tuesday and the following Saturday. So next week they'll both be back available which is which is a massive bonus for us adds that bit of competition um in in some good areas of the pitch and yeah Nicky Wheeler's progressing nicely um but probably still a couple of weeks away at best um so yeah all in all it's coming together some real competition places um and you know to have that at this stage of the season is 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 really good another bit of competition for places a new goalkeeper coming in in Ollie Wright uh, talk through that, another loanee from Southampton, what's the thing behind him coming in? Yeah, just, um, you know, keep those two two 
goalkeepers, uh, I think, is vital. Um, I think it showed at the weekend. Um, you know, going into the last 14 games and hopefully um, some more after that as well. Um, we just want to make sure we're prepared properly with the with the right squad. Um, I feel we've got to learn from last season. Obviously, Harrison got injured and missed um, a crucial game for us. We had Jack Paxman, we had Lewis Wyatt, we had Josh Chambers that got recalled, and I don't think we quite had the squad uh, at a crucial time to compete. So. Um, now we've got to learn from that and make sure we've got a squad ready to, to compete um, for the last 14 games and hopefully a few more. And Ollie in particular, um, what's the thing time to bring him in? No, good, good presence comes really good recommendation from Southampton. Um, their last recommendation, Josh, uh, wasn't too bad. I thought he was excellent for us. Um, it'd be a real miss. Um, you know, he's, he's really comfortable playing out and helped us on that side. But you know, for 18 years old, he had a real presence about him as well. Um, so, you know, we wish him a speedy recovery. Um, I think he's got um, a meeting with the surgeon on Monday, so we're hoping it's good news and he can get the correct surgery he needs and then can start focusing on his rehab. Um, but yeah, I think all in all, Southampton have been pleased with Josh's progression, pleased with how the loan's gone and had another one available and um, offered him to us. And, you know, we felt it was a bit of a no brainer for us to, to take him up on that. And, uh, yeah, so he'll come in and, you know, again, add some good competition at a valuable time.